channel and today's vlog is pretty much just gonna be like a back to basics vlog so I've got so much to do this week slash today and I want to bring you guys along so right now I'm on my way into the city to have one of my final meetings of a project that I'm coming out with super super soon um can I get through there okay thank you this is a project that I wanted to do for so long, but it was just a matter of finding the right people, finding the time. But finally, we are at the end of it, and Kurt is gonna meet me in there because Kurt actually has a little part to do with this section of the project. I've only had an apple this morning. I woke up early, but I wanted to spend a couple of hours editing my vlog. I didn't have time to make breakfast, which is a little sad because that's my favorite meal of the day, so I've had an apple, and I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry. I run off a big breakfast, so just an apple for me. I don't know how I'm gonna function through this meeting. I mentioned in my last vlog that I have increased my plant-based foods a lot lately. And honestly, my digestion feels really good. I'm always full, I'm full of energy. I just feel really balanced and really healthy. Last night in my dinner, I had a tiny bit of grass-fed meat, a quarter of the portion I normally would have. And I just feel like that is helping me so much more with my digestion. Sometimes if I have too much red meat, I feel gross the next day, but I only had a little bit filling up on vegetables and starchy carbs that agree with my body. I'm just feeling really good. I'm feeling in a positive mindset. I'm just in the mood to do a day in the life and whatever happens happens and also to be completely real with you slash semi stalkerish I love watching people's vlogs where it's like not boring but just like a really normal day in the life. I'm craving a smoothie and I was going to quickly make an acai berry smoothie but we have absolutely no food in our house. I pride myself on being a hashtag domestic princess and I feel like I'm failing at this lately like I've been so busy working on my ebook this project a another project that I'm doing. Unfortunately, the grocery shopping has just sort of slipped out of my hands a little bit. Oh, and also I bought some Loving Earth chocolate boxes. I bought the dark one and salted caramel for our meeting. I feel like it's just expected of me now that I bring snacks everywhere. Like to our last meeting, I brought my protein balls. So for this one, I'm bringing Loving Earth chocolate. Healthy sweet treats are a good time and they just put everyone in such a good creative mood and that's what I want. Also just an update on my cervix, so my cervical dysplasia. About a week ago, I got my colposcopy and the biopsy, so that's when they take a little part of your cervix and it's gonna go in for further testing. So in two weeks time, I'll have the results from that. And then I also had to go and get so much blood work done. I was at the blood work place for like three hours. And then I also had to do that glucose test where you have to drink this huge glass of sugar water and then they see how your blood sugar levels go. I'll find out all of the results from that in two weeks time and so I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm just like trying not to stress about it, trying not to focus on it, eating as healthy as I can and being as less stressed as I can. But I'm so hungry. I just want to eat the Loving Earth chocolate. I was so close to opening up the box and eating it in the car, but I refrained. Sharing is caring. Hey. Hey. Oh, hello. Yeah, I agree. And even. it's creative. It's like, you're fabulous. Like, show me how fabulous yeah. you are. In really weird places. Like, somewhere really random. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like our idea? I love, I love it. Yeah. Like, shows variety. Yeah, you should out. have heard us last, last night. night. Even like, I was like, Sarah, together, just go to bed. Better at this. And he was like, this is in capital. I was like, I hate caps lock. I'm like, no, we need it in capitals. <laughs> no caps is in. He's like, what? Like, dewy skin, what is dewy skin? <laughs> <laughs> no, dewy skin is beautiful. Yeah. I was like, and you guys are like, oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> dewy, like, that's like dirty. It. I'm like, no, it's like, mm, dewy. dewy. I, I, I don't like that word. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Curtis. Ah, ah. <laughs> I need a coffee. I feel it. Everyone's loving the chocolate. What kind of vibe do you want? Do you want these ones? Every time I come here, I just want a dog even more. Um, you make up the angle it like, I love it. So you're excited? Yes. Oh. I know, you feel it. How are you? You look so cute today. Thanks, thank you. I Hi. feel like I always see you with your hair up. You do, because I always wear it up. For once, it's okay. clean. This is not hairspray, this is sweat. Oh, enjoy your chocolate. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. You. Right, my meeting's over, I'm heading back to the car now, and that went so, so well. Like this is the creative part of YouTube that I love. Just so surreal, but fulfilling when your secret projects come to life. Like this has been something that I've had in my head for such a long time, since I was a little girl, and I just can't believe it's actually coming true. Kurt and I presented our little idea in the meeting and they loved it. 
You guys, I'm so hungry. I had a green tea in the meeting and then a little bit of the chocolate. But so now I'm gonna take myself out to lunch because then I'm gonna go to the gym pretty much straight after. work and eat at the same time and that's pretty much the usual. I have to bring this bad boy literally everywhere because I upload every three days and it takes me a long time to edit each vlog. So if I ever have like 10 minutes or 15 minutes here and there I'm editing. Not only do I have to edit my cellulite vlog but I have loads of phone calls to make about another project I'm working on and then I have to attend to like my other normal emails and I really wanted to work on my ebook today but I'm just not going to have time. For my lunch I ended up getting a large salad. This is a quinoa and cauliflower super salad. Can you not be on loud? So rude. And I got a boiled egg on top and I'm guessing I'm still gonna be hungry after this just because any kind of salad doesn't properly fill me up. Even if it does have like sweet potato, quinoa or like some kind of starchy vegetable. I always like to have a sweet treat afterwards. It's sort of just become a habit of mine. I guess for the next two hours or so I'll be sitting here doing phone calls. Remember how ages ago I said that saying your vibe attracts your tribe? Today it just reminded me of that saying like the meeting was so good just because everyone is such a good vibe. Everyone was so supportive and encouraging of one another. If you are trying to be a kind and caring person that's the kind of people you will attract and those kind of people want to hang out with you. So I don't know I'm just having a good day. I feel like I'm surrounded by really positive encouraging people. I'm keen to work. Where is my phone? Because today is like a full on work day, I would usually go to the gym and test out one of my Sweat It to Shred It 2.0 reload workouts. But I'll just see how I'm feeling and I feel like that's the balance I'm making this time around. When I did my first ebook, I just had no me time and I put so much pressure on myself to always be testing a workout and always be writing it down and making alterations. Don't get me wrong, I love what I do. I loved my meeting, I love editing and I love the hustle right now. But I think this afternoon when I go to the gym, I'm just going to purely listen to my body. If that means doing like handstands and yoga, that's what I'll do. If it means doing a running session, that's what I'll do. Yeah, I need to stop talking because I just want to eat my salad, eh? I'm hungry. If you guys ever get a salad, would you ever order a small or a medium? I'm not judging you. Like it's a salad, I always get a large. Oh my gosh, I just put it all over my laptop. Listen to your body. If you're not super hungry, get a small. But I feel like if I ever go out and buy a salad, it's because I'm hungry. Because usually if I eat in the apartment, it's because I cooked it myself. Or I'll take myself out for lunch just to like get out of the apartment. But this, this just goes against all of my eating rules. Buying and then bringing it back here. I really need to go grocery shopping. Hashtag domestic princess. <laughs> you just want to film me. No one to help. No. <laughs> Kurt and I just did a mini grocery shop. Usually when we grocery shop, our whole trolley is like overflowing, super full. And we were like, surely we're forgetting something. But we realized we get most of our fruit and vegetables and just all around groceries from the health food store. So we did our supermarket haul, but it's mostly for Kurt, really. Yeah. And then everything in the health food store is for me. Bog toilet paper for Sezzy when she poops. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, everyone likes child humor. No. Child humor is a great time. Anyway. Did you just lick me? Yeah. <laughs> it's disgusting. Stop. Where is your bangle? I took them off. Oh. You guys know these gold bangles that I always wear? Yeah. Kurt literally they, copied me. They're for boys too. <laughs> <laughs> and they're unisex. So Kurt got one as well. Anyway, let's show them what we bought. This is literally Kurt's bag. It's got like rice and wraps in there. I usually have like a big vegetable plate with either some meat or chickpeas, lentils, beans and things like that. 
and then I'll bulk his up with rice. And sometimes I'll bulk mine up with quinoa or sweet potato. Do that one, and I'll put that one away while you're done with that. Eggs. <gasps> Eggs. Are these broken? No. Lucky. They're good. Because I love poached eggs. And even though I'm eating highly plant-based, I still love eggs. And I usually have eggs like every third day, I suppose. Yeah, they're the best. Organic kale. Do you ever eat kale? Uh, uh, no. I would recommend massaging it in some coconut oil or some flaxseed oil or sauteing it in a sauce but it's just much easier for your body to digest. Catch. Good one. Lemon, kiwi fruit. I used to buy my avocado organic and they're like so expensive and so little. But then I've been doing some reading about what fruit and vegetables you really should try to buy organic and then what ones don't matter as much. And luckily enough, avocado is on the list of ones that it's like not really bad, not organic. So I took that as a hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we got normal avocados. Can you shuffle? Uh, shuffle. Can you juggle? No, I meant juggle. Muesli bars for Kurt. We're on my pee, big girl. My favourite peas and beans are cannellini beans and chickpeas. Sometimes if I have too many cannellini beans, which is like all the time, I get a gurgly tummy. But chickpeas I'm pretty good with, especially if they're roasted or I make my chickpea burgers. That doesn't upset my tummy. But yeah, I have a bad tendency of opening a can of cannellini beans and having the whole can in one meal. So that's probably why I get a gurgly tummy. Me. Organic mixed berries for my smoothies, organic bananas, and usually I will freeze my own, but all of the bananas at the health food store the other day were green. Ain't nobody got time for green bananas. Um, nom, 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 nom. Organic apples ate two at the grocery store because you guys know I can't grocery shop without snacking. It's just not a fun time. Butternut pumpkin or squash, if you're from America. Everyone's no, all, isn't squash like a different thing? I think in America they call it squash. No. Everyone's always like, oh my gosh, says he, it's a squash. It's a butternut pumpkin in Australia. Golden sweet potatoes. Ask me the potatoes and the pumpkin. Thanks. Tomato, you know, all the huge. I pretty much just buy like a range of vegetables and fruit and I do try to buy what's in season. <gasps> I need to show you guys the most exciting thing of our back deck. Look, it's our washing up. Well, no. Welcome to Sezzy's Primal Kitchen. Capsicum. Look how cute it is. Baby spinach. She's not thriving, but she's okay. This says it's iceberg lettuce, but I'm very skeptical. I'm pretty sure it's Kos. I don't know. Iceberg, it's got a long way to go. Yeah, I know. Like this, don't look like this, people. Cucumber, look, we're trying to make it crawl up this line, but who knows. Beetroot and eggplant. But I think we eat this tonight for dinner. I think we use this in our meal. Please, please, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
unfortunately guys we've come to that time again the end of the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this super random day in the life because lately i've been trying to make all my videos have a purpose or a topic but honestly like i said i was just in the mood to film a day in the life p.s the delivery guy just came and i just got boxes and boxes of my protein balls which is like obviously amazing and super exciting but i can't tell you how much this is testing my portion control and ability to practice moderation. I'm obsessed with sweet treats and I try to have one a day, but once I've already had my one, I get really sad and I'm like, Ugh. I want to have another one. Oh, I'm just addicted. But today is the next day and I haven't had my daily protein ball yet. So I'm going to save that for this afternoon. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a like because it really supports my channel. And make sure to subscribe because like I said, I upload new videos every three days. And on that topic, my next video is actually going to be a full day of eating. Because since I have tweaked my diet a little bit and included much more plant-based meals, I thought it would be interesting to show you guys and just show you a day on my plant late so stay tuned for that and also click that little notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!